So we just picked this chair up for $15 and we are going to get it painted. I haven't decided if I'm gonna paint the frame or just the seat, but I know I'm gonna paint the fabric and so we're gonna show you how to get that done. So I love chairs like this because you can unscrew the seats and that'll make that easy to paint a different color. I wasn't gonna paint the chair itself, but it's got, it's got a bunch of glue, so it looks like they fixed it, so I'm gonna have to find a complimentary color for the chair. I hate doing this, I'm not gonna be able to do this one-handed, but just suffice this to say, I'm gonna use this, I'm gonna take the screws out and the seat will pop off. Okay, so this pops right off, and we could totally just reupholster it, but I wanna show you how I paint fabric. First things first, I'm gonna go ahead and give this a scrub. I've got my shower here. It's got to be wet anyways, and I'll use some soap. So having this fabric already wet from washing it and scrubbing it with Dawn and warm water is going to make this easier. I'm going to use weathered wood and brush it on here, then use water to smooth it out because you don't want it super thick because you don't want it to be crunchy. And essentially you're going to dye the fabric. And I'm just gonna spread this around until it gets nice, even coverage. It's really that simple. The important thing to know, you can't go from dark to light very easy, but you can go from light to dark pretty simply. If you'd like to purchase the paint and products you see us use in this video today, visit jamierayvintage.com or stop by our shop in Lehigh, Utah. So I'm actually going to paint the chair the same color, but I'm going to do a lot of wet distressing and maybe some white wax. So it'll look different, even though the color is the same. And then the seat will stay that dark weathered wood color and just like a white stencil on it. I think it's gonna be a good contrast. The nice thing about DIY paint is it's all natural. It has nine ingredients. It's super pigmented. I can use it on fabric. I can use it on chairs, really durable. And it's clay based, which is amazing and doesn't really cause a concern for me painting it inside my house. I can do it without worrying about having too much of a smell because there's absolutely no VOCs. So it's actually uh, five days later. We got like probably 15 projects going out here on the table and we're gonna- I'll show you all the projects. Like this is the situation that is our living room right now. There's all the projects that are finished over there. Uh, but yeah, we are getting back to this project. It's hard cause it's bouncy. It's a real fluffy cushion. But you can do it. We'll see how it goes. So we're just using DIY's beadboard and one of our horse grain sack stencils and a JRV stencil brush to stencil this on. Ooh, it's a You're gonna little. have to wipe that off. It's a little juicy. So what happened is I'm gonna use a smaller stencil brush. This is too juicy, uh, and that's where the right brush comes into play. I'm gonna wipe this off, repaint over that, and then we'll re stencil it again. All right. All right, so we're repainting it here. And we actually switched to old school uh, because we ran out of weathered wood. <laughs> it's fine, they're both dark grays. One's a brown gray, one's a blue gray. Although the chair is weathered wood, but we're gonna do some stuff to the chair so it won't matter. You're doing real good. I think that's covered. It's covered. All right, try number two here, if, smaller brush. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. I'm gonna do the brush a little drier as well and hold the stencil in place as I go because it's kind of rounded and it bounces up and down. So I'm just gonna hold it close and go slow and we'll see what we get here in a minute. The other thing that's cool is that when we wiped off the lighter colored paint, it kind of gave us a wash effect that I'm not hating. So win-win. I think the smaller brush was the trick. I haven't looked, this is the first reveal. Ta-da! Yes. All right, we'll let that dry. Then we'll seal it up with, do you wanna do clear wax? Or do yeah, you wanna... clear wax will do good. Once that's cured up, it makes it feel almost like a leather when you do this on painted fabric. All right, sweet. I need you to bring me some clear wax from the barn. All right, I'll get some. Bye. I'm back to this chair, it's like a week later. 
but I can still wet distress because it's water soluble. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull off a majority of the paint. Then I'm gonna come back and white wax it. Okay, so here's where we're at right now. I love some of the natural original color coming through and we're just gonna hit it up with some white wax. All right, so here it is after the white wax. We'll let that set up overnight, um, but I think it's looking pretty good. It's got some of the original like vibes, but a fresh new look, and I covered up all that yucky wood glue that was hanging out. Okay, so Zeb's milking buttercup, which means he hasn't brought me some more wax from the shop. I'm hoping I have enough. I'm just using DIY's clear wax. I'm gonna seal this up, probably do a couple of coats and then buff it in in the morning. And then once that cures up, it'll be good to go. All right, so Zeb is screwing the seat back on for me because we all know how well I use power tools. You're and actually better at them than you think. You just like to let on like you don't know how. Hey, I did strip out one of those damsel screws. damsel in distress. <laughs> I did strip out one of those screws. That's what I was trying to tell you. Oh, uh, that one might have to just be replaced. Uh, it was actually already stripped before I got to it, FYI. We are delivering the chair to the shop. All right, so Zeb's moving some windows around, and I think it's going to look really good next to our cabinet. I kind of like things at an angle, though. What do you think? Can we just, like, angle it a little? Oh, my gosh, that's so much better. I love it. <laughs> Here it is in its final location. We're gonna get it tagged and listed up on the website. Thanks for watching this video with us. Comment below, let us know. Do you enjoy the painted fabric or do you wish that we would have just upholstered it? Yeah, I think a lot of people were in the reupholster it camp, but the painted fabric looks fine. There's like maybe one or two little wear spots, but you can't even hardly notice since we stenciled it. If you wanna buy the paint and products used today, visit jamierayvintage.com. And if you like this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more. DIY. Redrick, say hi since you're weirdly hiding back there in the mirror. Uh, oh,